Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing another cook with me video. Some of you have been asking, like, why haven't I been doing it? I've been really busy and I've just kind of been ordering takeout. So, um, we all have moments like that. But today I'm going to be bringing you a variation on my pasta sauce. It's a pasta dish and it's also, I'm also going to be kind of giving you a basic pasta, pasta sauce recipe mixed in with like how I'm making it now. So if you want to make just a regular run-of-the-mill pasta sauce that's slightly thick, all you got to do is pick up a, pa a can of whole peeled tomatoes, squish them into the, the pot, um, add a little paste. Sometimes I use a small can, sometimes I use two small cans, depending on how thick I want it. Today I want it real thick, so I got the um, the can, the bigger can of paste. This one is the, do do do, where is the label? It just says one pound, two ounces. I forgot what the, yeah. And uh, the big can is 28 ounce, so there you go. Um, and to make the sauce, pretty much all you need is a little bit of garlic, let that cook in some oil, and then you would need parsley. I like a lot of parsley. I've chopped mine up already. I'll show you this here. I've chopped it up. You can make it a little bit rougher. I like it just like this. I'm probably going to even add more. Now, the difference in this sauce, oh, I also had red pepper flakes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the difference between this and my normal sauce is I'm also going to be adding some anchovies. And I'm going to tell you something about these anchovies. They completely dissolve. It's not like you're having an anchovy in your mouth. It just adds a slight fish flavor to the dish itself. I'm also going to be adding some cal calamata olives. Now these are not the pitted kind. I like to break them up myself. And this, this one's going to be really garlicky. Usually I'll use two cloves of garlic for my normal sauce. I'm going to be using about five for this one. So it's going to be slightly different and I'm going to serve this over spaghetti. I already have the pot ready for of uh, boiling water. Now I'm going to show you basically for this, you're going to want to take uh, about half of a bushel. This is what's left. You're going to want to take a little bit less than this of parsley. Chop it up rough. You're going to want to crush five cloves of garlic. I'm going to do that shortly. You're going to want to take your anchovies and just rinse them off maybe a little bit. You might not need to depending on like how much is in here. We're going to see. You're going to want to start um, pitting your olives and you're going to want to have olive oil too. All while your, your water on the stove is boiling. I don't really measure my water. I just put the water in the pot, salt it up, and get it ready to greet the pasta. So while it's boiling, I'm going to be chopping all this up. And the next part you're going to see is how I start cooking it, the sauce in the pot. As you can see, my garlic's all crushed and ready to go. If you're wondering how do I crush garlic, take a big knife and just put it a, a, flat, a wide big knife and put the garlic underneath and just press down on the knife or you can use this handy dandy kitchen gadget which I'm trying to find the camera doo, doo, doo. there we go it uh it crushes garlic though you don't necessarily need it I just washed mine so here we go I'm gonna salt this up a little bit get some little oil in there and I'm gonna let it cook very quickly you do not want your garlic to burn because if your garlic burns your, your sauce will become bitter so keep that frying pan moving once you add the oil and salt by the way, if you're wondering how much oil I use, I just kind of look at it and that helps me determine how much I should use. I don't really have a precise measurement in terms of oil, just enough to like kind of coat the pan. Also, while the garlic is cooking, you're going to want to open up your can of tomatoes because that's going to prevent your garlic from burning. Like once it's finished cooking, you're going to quickly, quickly put in those tomatoes and squish them up right before that garlic turns. That's how you know it's ready to take the tomatoes. It's a little bit browning. Now you take your whole tomatoes and you just put them in here. You kind of get a little bit fun. Ignore the swatches on my hand. You get a, you have a little fun with this and you just squeeze. It's really messy and my tea kettle just got shot at. And you just do this for the whole can and you put in the sauce. So in here I have about, I don't know, 10 olives and my anchovies actually were packed in olive oil, capers, and a little bit of garlic, which is perfect because sometimes I add capers to this recipe anyway. But regular plain anchovies will do. You will put them in a frying pan on medium heat and just cook it until the anchovies pretty much dissolve and the olives are warm and you're going to add that to your sauce. Your sauce, by the way, you can now add the paste to it at the same time. You can start spooning your paste into it and put that on a medium heat and let that cook as well. If your water is boiling, go ahead and add your spaghetti or other pasta. Also, you can add crushed red pepper flakes to your sauce if you'd like a little heat. Also, add your parsley now. So your sauce should start to look like this, nice and thick. Keep stirring, stirring it. You could probably actually turn off the flame now if it looks like that. 
Your anchovies should be almost completely dissolved. It just looks like there's olives left. Um, actually, did you know that there are anchovies in typical um, Caesar dressings? They dissolve them into the dressings. It's actually a very common ingredient. So this you're going to want to add to your pasta sauce now. Right before your pasta is done cooking, take maybe a third or, f or even an eighth of the pasta water and add it to your pasta sauce. The starch is going to help the sauce really cling to the pasta. So now everything is completed cooking. I have potted, instead of making um, spaghetti, I made fettuccine, so it's no big deal. I also have some decorative sprigs of parsley on the side. Your sauce should be nice and thick and heavy, and like I said, if it gets a little too thick, you can add some of the pasta water. I add the pasta water anyway because it really helps the sauce to continue to stick to the pasta. So then you can either just mix it up in the pot itself, or you can serve it right on top. Now this is going to be a nice, chunky, really pretty, you can serve meatballs on top of this if you'd like, but I serve it just like this, with a nice decorative piece of, you know, parsley, and a little bit of... Parmesan cheese and you're ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this cook with me video. Um, I know it's a little bit different. It's not as healthy as the other ones. But nonetheless, we all need some comfort food and some cheat days, right? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, please check out my fashion um, blog, which subscribe to it. That would be great. And check out my Instagram. I'm a Stardust. Thank you so much for watching.